What's up, guys? John Hamlin here, coming back at you with some more videos on Natus, uh, the over-the-wire war game for web application security. Um, just got the password for level 7. Um, we can probably clean up some of these comments here. They've been around for too long, and I'm sure you're probably getting sick of looking at them. Um, we don't need... Actually, we do want to keep printing the content in case we're ready to move on to the next level. Um, and we won't need to submit anything because we're not posting just yet. Um, let's just get the page for Natus level 7 and see what we're working with here. Um, I'll run this, control B, and here is our prompt. Here is the file and the web page that we return with. Natus 7, great. Um, in the content div, we've got links here um, to page home and page about. Um, and there's a HTML comment here, a hint, password for the web user Natus 8 is in etc. Natus web pass Natus 8. So, hmm, I'm sure you're probably wondering why are we passing variables to the index.php page to refer to the page that we actually want to view, like home and about. Um, are those actual... Is, is home like a thing we can read or, 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 or is, is about a thing we can access even in this current directory or something? If I just reach that, yes. Okay, so that in itself is being included in the index page. So I'll just kind of zoom out here so you can see this a little bit better. Let's say we gave it this URL. Let's say we tried to read... Uh, index.php with a page variable being sent with the with the get variable um, saying that we want to go to about. Okay, it gives us, this is the about page. So this text that we were able to see when we went to just straight about, that must be the raw text of that file and about is its own file. So we must be reading a file that is being included in index.php. So index.php must be able to read other files with that page variable. So when we went to home, it gave us the links here. This is the front page and about, this is the about page. So if we can just access raw files, maybe the vulnerability here or the issue, the gimmick we can take advantage of is called local file inclusion. So local file inclusion, LFI. And you can probably see here in the OWASP security uh, update and, and, and summary here, here's an example. When you have a page or on a website that is using a parameter or an argument, typically, at least most commonly in like a get request, as to load another page, we can then take advantage of that and kind of abuse it. Make a request to a different file located elsewhere on the server, like reading etc. password if we backstep through the file system a little bit, because we don't know where in the file system we might be, where the root directory of the file server might be. Like we could be in var www html stuff if it's like an Apache server or etc. So we'll use the parent directory, the two periods to keep moving up, up, up the file system, and eventually get to the root directory where we can read other other files out of. Let's try that. Um, I will use that as the attack here. Multiple um, multiple parent directory symbols, period, period, and then let's see if we can view etc. password. We can. Okay, because that page is just straight up leaking it for us. It's including that file so we can get some local file inclusion and explore things in this um, in this website, in this web server. This is actually pretty dangerous, especially if we get to like um, the current process, if we can get the process ID. I think it's proc self, right? command line maybe that will yeah we can see like okay how is this command started um what memory maps does it have open the proc self I'll check this out in a command line proc self file system that directory uh, will let you see really interesting things for how the program is being run so since apache is serving this web page we're seeing how apache was started with that but whatever we want to get to the password we want to get to what we're really looking for to move on in natus so let's try this let's use that attack local file inclusion with etc natus web pass 8 natus 8 
and we've got it right here. Cool. We leaked out the password. So how can we steal this um, with a regular expression content? Let's go probably a new line character between a break. Um, new line character, new line character, and then the hint, the start of the hint uh, comment. Let's see if that will actually return for us. Will that get it? It will. Awesome. So the new line character is just representing the breaks in the text there. And retrieve everything and use the HTML comments note to say that well, this is the very end of what we're trying to reach. Great. So that's how we stole the password using some local file inclusion, a legitimate vulnerability um, in a lot of web servers on a web applications. Doesn't have a whole lot of security or mitigation techniques to prevent it because most commonly you'll see websites that will try and filter out these period periods or do kind of peculiar things and how we can load some of the files or try and protect those things. But obviously local file inclusion is a really bad vulnerability to begin with, but it's pretty cool. So, all right. Thanks for watching this guy. Uh, wow. I don't even know what I just said here. Thanks for watching this video guys. <laughs> saying a lot of, saying a lot of words. Um, Hope you guys are enjoying the series. Hope it's pretty cool. Hope you're doing some neat hacker things and cyber skills in Sublime Text and Python. But I'll see you in a later video.